Hi everyone! A uh, quick video for today. This is a, another find from a, a thrift store. It's not a camera a thrift store, but just a thrift store. I live two minutes away from um, um, a used store. And I found this. This is a, um, a Jazz Jellies Joe 7 camera. It's 35mm. Um, it takes 35mm film. Um, lens is 27 millimeter, focus free, and this one has two options. Um, you can either shoot in normal, or just you can. There's a switch right here, or you can flick the switch and move it to panorama, so you can get um, panorama photos. But that is not a true panorama yet picture. If you are familiar with Vivitar IC100 then that works the same where you get um, black things on top of the, in the bottom of the camera which cuts the photos to make it look rectangular and longer. In addition to that uh, it has the flash that so you can turn on and off. The battery is on this side you can put um I had a battery in here so and this is the button that you press in order for you to rewind your film um I got I've looked at the internet and so far most people have got this brand new for seven to nine dollars at most um you can find it anywhere else now but it seems like, I mean, at least the Jazz Jelly, but they rebranded or repackaged it as Cobra camera. And I think it's still available at Kmart. So if you guys live in North, uh, in the U.S., you don't have Kmart in Canada. So if you happen to go to Kmart, you could probably get one of these. Um, as far as the quality is concerned, I am not too sure, but... It looks like there's a lot of vignetting on the corners. So if you like toy cameras, I think this is one of the cameras that you might want to look after. Um, another similar body is a Bell & Howell. I can't remember the actual unit name. But the Bell & Howell one looks basically the same except for the transparent and the colorful jelly ace-like body. And this is the shutter. So that's basically it. Um, I got the purple one and um, I always go to the thrift store to f see if I'll find something else. I'm still in the lookout for an XS70 but unfortunately I can't find it. So I, I always get to find one of these really small compact cameras. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.